Hello and welcome to Samurai Tarot. Uh, before we start this reading, I'm so excited. Uh, I just want to thank all those people who have been supporting this channel and who've been watching us. Uh, for those who are learning um, martial arts, uh, strategy, uh, intuitive development, um, arts, culture, uh, feng shui, crystals, magic, all of those stuff, all of those uh, uh, knowledge that we are sharing in this channel. Thank you for watching our, um, for supporting our channel. And um, before we begin this video, um, let's cleanse our sacred space. I've already meditated on the cards. And um, let's start by... Spraying some holy water. Okay. This holy water, I created this myself. Spirit, please cleanse our sacred space. Okay. Maybe I'll teach you how to do it. Okay. And I'm going to start and ring bell. Okay, so that changes the vibration of our sacred space. Now let's uh, get some Okami incense here. So we could uh, be protected. Okay. All right, let's light a um, incense. I ran out of matches, so I'm using a lighter. Alright, so uh, Okami incense is good for cleansing crystals as well. Hmm. And also cleansing tarot cards. Cleansing our sacred space. All right. We call on the spirits of the ether, fire, water, air, earth, and divine love of creation. Let's cleanse our sacred space. Um, to remove negative energies, just turn it counterclockwise. Please remove negative energies from our sacred space. And to infuse positive energies, turn clockwise. Convert negative energies to positive energies. Okay. Right? Okay, now we have that done. Let's place that in our holder. So I don't, I don't place the smoke very near. So I put it in a distance so that it won't. Uh, it, it will do its thing. Okay, let's place it over there. Okay, All right. So uh, cover this over here. Let's just put it here. Okay. All right, so let's start your reading. Okay, Sagittarius, we'll start your reading. Okay, this is going to be for June 2022. Uh, life, career, and love. And uh, first, we're going to uh, take a look at, do a chakra check. Okay. Take a look at your chakras, your energies, what's going on with you first, internally. 
and then we're gonna take a look at your life situations okay so spirit what do we have for the heart chakra heart chakra please cool okay so you have the ace of pentacles so the universe is offering you something new okay so what do we have for the root chakra wow this is all money sagittarius okay you have the nine of pentacles okay You don't want to be single. That's your fear. <laughs> Some of you are afraid to being single. Okay. But. Uh, okay. So far that's good. Okay. Um, you're doing well with regards to your finances. Okay. But you don't want to be single anymore. <laughs> Understandable. The universe is giving you a uh, an Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so there's an offer. Okay, the Knight of Pen Knight of Cups on the uh, Sacral Chakra. Okay, and the offer is coming. Your ships is coming with this Ace of Pentacles as well, and this Three of Pent Three of uh, Wands on your Solar Plexus Chakra. Okay, so something's coming in June. Possibly the third week of June or the third day of June. Okay. Sagittarius. Alright. Maybe a Gemini. You have the lover's card for your throat chakra. Okay. Alright. So I'm constitute so something's coming in. Okay, could be a soulmate. Okay. Or you're uh, you're getting ready to commit. Why? Because the truth is, <laughs> the truth is, you're on tonight. Okay, on your throat chakra. Oh wait. So that's your sa uh, heart chakra, throat chakra. In your mind, you had enough. <laughs> Another nine. Something's about to be completed. So that's this is nine of wands. You had enough of uh, this single life, <laughs> okay? And you want to share, okay? For some of you, um, you've been working so hard. You have all the money in the world except for love, okay? A partner and. You're wanting to extend an offer. Why? Because you have the Five of Pentacles. You're feeling stuck, alone, abandoned. Okay. Something must have happened during retrograde. Okay. You have the... This is your... Root Chakra, Sacral Chakra, Solar Plexus, Heart Chakra. Uh, heart chakra, throat chakra. Third eye and crown. So, there's a strong energy of not wanting to be alone anymore. You don't want to be alone. Not, okay, so you want to be booed up, partnered up. Okay. All right, two, four, six, seven. Okay, that's seven chakras. I think I'm. Did I do extra for Aries and Sagittarius? Extra chakras. Okay. All right. Anyway. All right. Three cards, please, for life, general life. Oh, so in the past there was some ten of swords. Somebody betrayed you. Somebody betrayed you. That's why you're now single and available and feeling abandoned. <laughs> okay. Now, you might be making an offer with a water sign with this Queen of Cups and this Knight of Cups. Well, that escalated quickly. 
So, you're gonna be sending a message to this person or you're gonna receive a message back to back. Uh, you have the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So, the person that you're connecting with is... Or you. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're contemplating on making this offer because did you betray them or did you betray them? Because if this is you, you're making the offer, you're single, and this is them. Oh, okay. So you don't want to be... That fear of being... Uh, being single and alone is because you got betrayed okay somebody somebody betrayed you could be an air sign that betrayed you and you're wanting to make an offer to this water sign or this uh gemini Whew. okay it gets really interesting queen of swords Two queens again, like Aries. There's some... Do you know what this means? This is the ultimate betrayal and through deception. Some of you are... Somebody, some of you are getting a divorce because uh, you got betrayed. Somebody went into a third party. Okay. Third, I don't the, the cards aren't showing it yet but with this ten of swords here it's a really nasty betrayal because one of either you or one of the person was deceived okay there's deception here but I see you uh, you're not you're gonna you're not gonna tolerate any more of this situation it's an ending so it's an ending of this situation okay all right Sagittarius what do we have for again like Leo you have the devil card same as Leo okay so there is going to be a separation here, definitely. And I think finances is going to be a big... With the Five of Pentacles here, finances will be... Uh, they require... Yeah, Leo. <laughs> I was talking about Leo. <laughs> Same as Leo. Are you and Leo into something? Something nasty? Okay, so something about finances... So, yep, you're not seeing it, but there's going to be a decision made, and finances will be divided once this divorce or separation takes effect. Definitely, someone's finances will be affected. I think it's yours. Your your thinking. Your in your head, you have the five of pentacles. You're going to be single and you're worried that you won't have enough money. And with this devil card here and the strength, I feel that you don't have a stable job for some of you. And when the finance, the final say as to where the finance is going to go, you're afraid that it's going to be unfair. And you're having to try to make a decision for yourself and you're trying to be strong because you're dealing with a highly toxic energy. The situation has really escalated. There's deception, there's backstabbing, there's lying, okay, and there's abandonment and there's some, some sort of uh, stealing of finances or some sort of like that. No Seven of Swords here, but the Leo got the Seven of Swords. So you might be dealing with the Leo, or the Leo might be trying to escape. <laughs> the Leo might be trying to escape with your money, Sagittarius. 
I don't know. <laughs> you tell me with your situation. This is a general read. But there's deception here. Someone was deceptive. You might be dealing with a Capricorn and a Leo that's taking your money. Okay, relationship. You're leaving this situation. Because of the betrayal, you're leaving the situation. You want to be happy. Okay, so by June, you're going to be single, but you're going to start a new life. And the universe might be bringing you a person. It could be a Gemini or a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Okay, with the Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups, and the Lovers here. Okay. And you're moving towards this energy of the Empress. Okay, now the Empress is abundant. So, which means, I think you're overthinking the lack of finances. You know, don't go towards thinking uh, about uh, with the mentality, the, the lack mentality. I think the finances will go on your favor given that there's the Ace of Pentacles here, because the Ace of Pentacles is big money, the Empress. So from the Nine of Pentacles, which is the lower octave of the Empress, you'll be by the end of June or middle middle to the end of June, you'll be sitting in comfortably. You're moving away from toxic energy, and you'll be you'll be sitting comfortably. Okay. Now for some of you. A Capricorn and a Leo might help you decide with regards to your finances. Okay, you could be dealing, this is a Libra card. So you could be dealing with the justice system. Okay. So this divorce, if you're married, this divorce is going down. Okay. This is you. Uh, you could be a single mother. Okay, you could be a single mother. Yep, you're you're gonna try to look for. Okay, three of ones to the two of ones. This is expansion. You're gonna look for a new lover. You're make you're you're gonna search for someone else to fill your cup. And that could happen soon. You might meet an empress. Could be an earth sign, water sign, or a fire sign. A fellow fire sign. Okay. Hi priestess, bottom of the deck. You might have cons you might have been watching this general read, or you might have consulted someone who is a tarot reader or who is a into divination or a diviner you already know you already know that this is going to happen okay so you might have consulted somebody you might have watched this video prior to june okay all right let's see what's hidden okay so there's definitely deception <sighs> so someone is trying to take your money but don't worry. Things will go on your favor. This could be a new job. Or the court will decide to award you uh, a lump sum of mo money if it's a divorce. Okay, there's deception here. So people, if someone is trying to steal your money, you're going to be strong and you're going to take it to the court. Because you already know that these people are taking advantage of you. Okay. Take time to breathe out. Okay. So definitely you're coming out of a very difficult situation. You're moving out. Okay. With the Ten of Swords, it's an ending. The Devil, it's a toxic ending. It's not going to be easy. There's deception, but you're leaving the situation with the Eight of Cups. Okay. If it's a job, you're leaving this 
work. You're going by the end of the ju- by the end of June. You're going to decide to leave this uh, job. Okay, look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. So you came out of this reading. So definitely, um, if it's invol- involving finances and work, um, you have to see the big picture. Take a step back. Take time to breathe out. Okay. All right. So remove yourself from the situation and try to assess the situation clearly. Because there's going to be change. Expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. So definitely this is a uh, an eclipse energy. Okay. So during eclipses, I wouldn't advise you guys or anybody to be outside. You know, stay at home during eclipses so that you won't you won't get any negative energy. Okay. All right. So a time to give rather than to take new moon in Virgo. Okay. So you will be given. You know. Okay? You know. You will be given uh this stability. Okay? So you might be going through this during the retrograde season, which is me. All the way to the first week of June. Okay, Leo got... I think... I don't know if it's Leo or... Yeah, Leo. The moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. Okay, you might be dealing with the Leo. Oh, this card is not supposed to be here. Oh... I know I shuffled the cards. Okay. Next message, please, Spirit. Okay. The more energy and intent, intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. Okay. So you're going to liberate yourself. Okay. The, the energies, the divine is asking you to liber, liberate yourself from this situation. Okay. The moment I embrace my peace within and surrender the outcome, this is the moment that the universe can truly really get to work. Okay. Last advice. When I lean towards love, I am led. Okay, so have faith. The universe is asking you to take a break, take a step back, remove yourself from the situation, and take a look and realign Realign your chakras. Don't be afraid because there is fear in your mind and you're tired. So when you're tired, what you do? You don't give up. You rest. You rest and then get back in the game. But when you get back in the game, make sure that you have a positive, loving energy. Okay? Don't give in to this toxic devil. Okay? All right, and put your intention and your you know put your intention on positivity and love, and set aside all your fears. Okay, liberate yourself. So with so definitely leave this situation, this past situation, and then move forward. Okay, uh, things will go in your favor. The good news is it you've already gone through the cycle, and it's it's the end of that cycle. It's time to move forward. Okay? All right, Sagittarius? Okay, I hope uh, this reading helps. You got an Ace of Pentacles coming. This could be a water sign. Okay? Or a Gemini or a Virgo. Okay? Gemini, Virgo. Uh, all right. So, let me just roll. Uh, or a Pisces. Uh, you have Pisces. Cancer. Scorpio, uh, Sagittarius, Libra, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo. Those are the signs that I'm seeing here. Okay? 
All right. So I hope this reading helps and uh, gives you clarity. So I think it's a good time for you to meditate. You know, take you know take deep breaths and inhale, exhale, and take a moment for yourself. Uh, um, probably uh, take a good long hot bath, uh, salt bath. Um, walk in the park. Um, go to the beach. And just take your mind out of this situation, and then you'll figure things out, and things will go into your favor. Alignment is very important, uh, Sagittarius, because uh, when you're aligned, things come to you. You become the empress. All right. Okay. So, I hope to see you in your July Samurai Tower reading. Thank you for watching. So I'd like to show you something really cool. This is synchronization. Really cool. So my my Neko Chan over here, Maniki Neko, is synchronizing with the compass. I guess the the compass is affected by the magnetic field of the device under the Maneko Neki. Pretty cool. You know, the sway of the hands and the the pointer. Actually I got this the other way around. It's out it's over here. Let's see if it will synchronize. Oh, okay. I think my compass is there you go. There you go.